the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Everybody of the praise of Lord. I don't just wait to give the church to praise the Lord. I don't wait to Thanksgiving to give God thanks. When you love Jesus, you will give God thanks every day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Oh, hallelujah. And his, God bless you. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Not just only on the Sabbath day. Not just only on Sunday. But every day with Jesus, it gets sweeter than the day before. Oh, 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 Lord, thank you, Jesus. Jesus will give you joy. Jesus can give you peace. Jesus can give you a peace of mind. You don't got to smoke no weeds. God is all you need. Ah, hallelujah. Jesus can give you peace. Jesus can give you joy. Ah, I feel the Holy Ghost. You don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. Jesus can give you peace. Jesus can give you joy. Don't kill yourself. Love yourself. Ain't no wrong with loving yourself. But how can you love your neighbor if you don't first love yourself? Don't be full of yourself. Don't love the sin, but love you. Because you're God's creation. You're somebody special. That wonderful body that God has given you is not for drugs. That beautiful body that God has given you is not for crack or cocaine. That wonderful body that God has given you belongs to God. He loves you today. Now God want to teach you how to love yourself. Many don't love yourself because you was a black sheep in your family. You've been depressed, but God will give you rest. Jesus said, I come to heal your broken heart. Ah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He said, I come to set the captive free. Jesus can heal your broken heart. Don't kill yourself. Love yourself. God bless you, young man. God loves you. God bless this young man, God, and bless his whole life. God got a great plan for this young man's life. We praying for the young people. God bless you, son. I see greatness in you. Amen. Thank God for the young man. He praised the Lord. God's angels is watching over him. Goodness and mercy will follow him all the days of his life. You can save him, Lord, and fill him with the power of the Holy Ghost. Touch the children. Protect the little children. God, protect every family in this block. Suffer little children to come to Jesus. Forbid them not for such is the kingdom of heaven. You can have church in your house. A family who prays together will stay together. A marriage you pray together will stay together because now you're first married to Jesus. And when you make God the head of your household, when you seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, then all these things shall be added unto you. God will provide when you got no food in the refrigerator. God is better than a smooth operator. Glory adios, glasses Jesus. He'll provide for you. Glory adios, glasses Jesus. When you put God first. Hallelujah. Glory out of you, bless his Jesus. You can have a conversation with Jesus, Jesus Christ, wherever you at. And God will send angels around you. You'll find angels around your car. You'll find angels in your house. Hallelujah. God loves you. God loves you. Jesus loves you. Now let's love one another. As Christ have loved you. Jesus said by this, all men will know you, my disciples, if you have loved one for another. Because the love of Jesus is the greatest power of them all. To love Jesus is to hate sin. Because God is still a holy God. Can't leave that out. God is angry at the wicked every day. That's why God wants us to repent from sin. So he can live within. So he can sanctify his holy. Now you will be saved by grace and through faith. Now God can work miracles in your life. Hallelujah. I want to talk about how to be an effective minister. Jesus said to be a servant. He said, I didn't come to be served. I came to serve. How to be an effective minister. You first must have love. Love one another. As Christ said, love you. Love is a verb. Love is an action word. Like I always teach. A noun is a person, place, I think. The adjective describes a noun, but love is a verb. When you say that you love your wife and your husband, you show it in your actions. You're faithful to each other. You don't cheat on each other. Same thing with Jesus. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's how you show God that you love him, by obeying him. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Obedience is better than sacrifice. It's better to obey God than man. I'm going to teach you how to be an effective minister. Be humble. Stay humble before the Lord. Many ministers who I say you're called to preach, pastor. You say you're called to preach first. God wants to develop in you character. Character. The character, not just any character, but the character of Jesus. Jesus said you know them by their fruits, not by their suits. But the one wearing nice suits might be working roots. Nothing wrong with a nice suit, but God wants us to bear the fruits. The Bible in the book of Acts chapter, uh, not Acts, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, talks about the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, temperance, which is self-control, etc. We get a chance to read it. In order to be an effective minister, you must first develop the character of Jesus. Jesus was humble, although he was the greatest of them all. Jesus said, let the greatest among you be the servant. He said, he that humbles himself like a little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Now you see a little child, how humble he is, how humble she is. Jesus wanted us to humble ourselves like a little child. Jesus said that the meek shall inherit the earth. What do it mean to be meek? It means to be humble. Moses was the most meekest man above all the men on the face of the earth. That's why God made Moses the greatest man of God in his day. Only one greater than Moses throughout the ages of time with Jesus. We know the prophet Elijah was on the same level with Moses. But the Bible said in Numbers chapter 12 that Moses was the most meekest man, which means he was the most humblest one. Out of all the men on the face of the earth, that's why God chose Moses, because of his meekness. He was humble. In order to be an effective minister, you must have love and you must be humble. Jesus, look what he said. He said, I didn't come to be served, I came to serve. Jesus said, let the greatest among you be the servant. Well, Jesus was an example. Jesus came humble. Born in the stable, laid in the manger. Hallelujah. Jesus washed the disciples' feet. He said, let the greatest among you be the servant. So Jesus became an example. They should have been washing Jesus' feet, but instead he washed the disciples' feet. Look how humble Jesus was. He came as a servant. He was humble. Many ministers now became stuck up, arrogant. The Bible said God resisted the proud and gave us grace unto the humble. God is like a puffed up, prideful spirit. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 6, verse 16, that one of the six things that God hates is a proud look. If you have a proud look, that means you have a proud heart. You're arrogant. Now, nothing wrong with being self-confident. Different between being self-confident and being cocky. When Jesus said, love thy neighbor as thyself, you cannot love your neighbor unless you first love yourself. He wants you to love yourself. In other words, be confident in yourself. You're God's creation, but don't be full of yourself. Don't love the sin that you commit. I love myself, but I don't love the sin I commit. That's why God wants us to repent from sin so he can sanctify us holy and wash us with his precious blood that he shed on the cross of Calvary. Praise God. Because to love God is to hate sin. And because God is love doesn't mean he don't hate sin. Why you think he died on the cross of Calvary to save us from my sin? If he loved sin, then he would never have shed his blood to take away our sins. Makes sense. So it ought to be an effective minister. We have to have love, bear the fruits of the spirit. We must be humble. We must be willing to serve and be led by the Spirit of God. In order to be an effective minister, we must be humble. We must have the love of Jesus in our hearts. Yahshua HaMashiach, and become a believer. Then God can bless you. Then God can raise you up. God shall make you the head and not the tail. He shall I'll make you above only and not beneath. And God is so good, he'll make your enemy bless you. Like, like he, oh! God bless you, young man of God. I'm happy to see you even here. I'm happy to see you. So God, for the things he have done. I'm so happy to see you. That's all right. I'm so happy to see you today. You're looking good. Your face is shining like an angel. Amen, brother. How you up here? I'm doing fine. I love this area. I'm thinking about living in this area. And look how God time is. Isn't that amazing? That's how you know we connected. It's a oh, it's a message. yes. And I'm standing here, here, you coming up. That ain't nothing but God. Yeah, gotta figure this one out. Come on now. What's the message? 
message. What's the message? It's, it's definitely a good message behind it. Yeah. You too blessed? Stressed. All right. You're trying to tell us something. You're trying to tell us something. This is a good sign. Yeah. Now, you didn't know I was here. I didn't know you was no, on the same know. block. Yeah, you could have been on another block. But I never see you up here. You I never did. Yeah, this ain't nothing but God. Yeah, something. something good has happened today, yeah, brother. Something. You got to watch what this message Okay, is. my brother. God trying to tell us something. Yeah. Something, something good. Yeah. God bless you today. Yeah. I like that bite. Love you, man. Love you tell your mother, I say praise the Lord. Yes, sir. Love you. You too, my brother. I'm so happy to see my brother. God bless the little children and the parents. Lord, yada, yos. Gracias, Jesus. And my brother right here. First time we meeting like this on this block. This ain't nothing but God. God got a good message. There's a connection. I walked and saw you up here. I said, there's a message. I'm trying to figure it out now what it is. That is powerful. Oh, my. You see how real this is? Hallelujah. There's a message. Oh, my God. And it's a positive message. And God's going to bring it out. Amen, brother. You preach it all right. There you go. There you go. We're going to figure that out. God bless you, my brother. Love you, man. Thank God for the young man of God. This is a loving spirit is in the atmosphere. The angels of the Lord is in the atmosphere. God bless the little children. Glory out of yours. Glasses, Jesus, and the parents. Jesus is in the atmosphere. This is how we be an effective minister. We're here to serve. And I'm leaving taking over nobody's church. And when I went to visit this church, I was invited at. I didn't go there trying to take over the man in church. I sat right in the audience, was humble. I said, I come to hear the word from the Lord. The man of God preached the word. I was fed. And we all had communion together. The love of Jesus was all in the place. When the love of Jesus is in the atmosphere, the devil cannot come around because love is the greatest power of them all. The love of Jesus. When the saints of God begin to pray, the Lord will have his way. God will work miracles for you. He said, just have faith and believe. With God, all things are possible. God can make cancer disappear. When you go back to the doctor, the doctor will find no more cancer because Jesus is a miracle worker. Woo! I feel the Holy Ghost don't got to take no drug overdose. God bless you, young man. God is touching you right now in that Jeep. Whoa, hallelujah. God's angels is in camp about you. Look what David said to the angels of the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, my brother. Hallelujah. The angels of the Lord is in camp about you. For those who fear God. Because he said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. God bless you, my brother. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. They praising God up in the cars. They praising God in the Jeeps. They praising God on the buses. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Praise the Lord. God bless the cops. Bless them, Lord. God bless them, Jesus. Hallelujah. Save the cops. Give him the Holy Ghost. Bless him, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yahshua HaMessiah. He felt the Holy Ghost in the police car. <laughs> the Spirit of the Lord is here. God is in the atmosphere. God can bless you and your children. Our mavericks who pray together will stay together. Now, the devil cannot break your mavericks up. The devil don't want mavericks to work. He wants you to fight, cuss, argue. But say, honey, we're going to pray together. There ain't going to be no divorce up in here. And when you invite God in your house, the devil got to get out of your house. Tell the devil I'm too blessed to be stressed and too anointed to be disappointed. You came too far to turn back now. Tell the devil you're not going to claim my children. You say, my child will not be a prostitute. So my child will not be a drug dealer. Family generational curse will be broken in the name of Jesus, and he'll bring generational blessings. Just have a talk with Jesus wherever you at, and he'll talk back to you. God know what you're going through. Ah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless this young man here on the corner. Bless his whole life. You can save him, Lord, and fill it with the power of the Holy Spirit. This is how we be an effective minister, by being humble, by encouraging one another. Pray and fasting and stay humble. And not be like the scribes of the Pharisees. Because Jesus, because the Bible says our own righteousness is as filthy rags. When we have our own righteousness, then we have a form of godliness but denying the power. But how do we be an effective minister? By staying humble. Spread the love. Stay humble. The more God bless you, the more humble you become. Don't get like Lucifer. Lucifer was cast out of heaven. He was the most beautiful angel in heaven. But he became prideful. He became stuck up and arrogant. The Bible said his heart became lifted up with pride. The book of Isaiah chapter 14. So God cast him out. He that exalts 
exhorted himself, shall be obeyed. But he that hummers himself, God will bless you. How to be an effective minister. I don't go around trying to take over somebody's church. I stay humble. I don't go around trying to prove how anointed I am, how many gifts and talents I have. The pastor called me out and he saw it in the spirit. You stay humble before God and he will bless you. This is how you be an effective minister. A lot of people want titles. And they want to be ministers. Nothing wrong with that. But have the right motive. Have the right motive that you want to win souls. Bluetooth Hallelujah. There are too many folk in the church that's trying to win a popularity contest. It's not about us. It's about Jesus. It's about giving him the glory. Hallelujah. God says, the Lord, I am the Lord. And the Lord is my name. And my glory, hallelujah, I will not give to another. I don't think he should. Whoa, hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 42. Praise the Lord. Verse number 9. Verse number 8. People want to get titles but want to be glorified. No, we glorify God. He's the Prince of Peace. Jesus said, I am the root and the offspring of David. Praise the Lord. He said, I'm the bright in the morning star. He can give you a peace of mind that drugs cannot give you. Let the Lord give you a hug. You don't need no drugs. Ha <laughs> ha. Hallelujah. God's love can set you free from drugs. You don't need no crack. Just run to where Christ is at and get out the prayer mats. And he'll set you free from crack and cocaine when you get in God's domain. Woo! And when you get in God's domain, you no longer will be insane. Now you can have a testimony and say, look where the Lord has brought you from. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is on this block. God bless every person in the cars. Bless every person walking down the street. God, you love these people. Help us to love each other, Lord. Help us to pray for each other. Jesus said, I chose you to be the light of the world. This is how we've been effective ministers. Being the man of God doesn't mean we're perfect because nobody's perfect. Only one perfect is God. We all make mistakes, but when you mess up, you can get back up and God can clean you up. May God bless you. May God bless every person walking down the street. God, you love these people. God bless this young man. God bless this young man. I see greatness in you. You shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath. When we obey God's holy word, he'll bless you. And you will not be cursed, but you will be blessed. Talk about it in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 to 14. And verse 15 on down talks about the cursing plan. But when you obey God's holy word and keep his commandments, you'll be blessed. This is how you be an effective minister. By staying humble. And let the Lord promote you. David said promotion do not come from east, west, south, I know. But promote, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She was praising God, waving her hand up in the Jeep. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He said promotion does not come from east, west, south, I know. But promotion comes from above. It comes from God. God was the one who raised up David. David was the least of his brethren. But God sent the prophet Samuel into the house of Jesse and said, anoint young David to become the future king of Israel. When you stay humble before God, God will bless you. God will promote you. Have the right motive. First, love God. Now you can love each other. Now you can spread the love. That's the problem in the world. There's too much hatred in the world. There's too much killing in the world. There's too much gun violence in the world. But Jesus said, love one another as Christ said, love you. Jesus said, by this, all men will know you're my disciples. Huh? If you have love one for another, huh? bear the fruits of the Spirit, not just only the gifts of the Spirit. Because the Bible said that the gifts and callings of God are without repentance. According to Romans chapter 11, verse 29, don't just be satisfied with having the gifts. Because Jesus said, many in that day will say, Lord, Lord, have we not cast out devils in our name? Matthew chapter 7, verse 22. Have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not done many wonderful works in thy name? Jesus is going to say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. It's not enough just to do good works. The Bible declares in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, we are saved by grace and through faith. It's not a works that any man should boast. It's good to do wonderful works, but it takes more than that. They're masons who do wonderful works, yet they still worship in Baphomet with the Freemasons. Baphomet is a demon who looks like a goat. When you do good works, operate the fruits of the Spirit. 
Hallelujah. According to Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. So now you're going to develop the character of Jesus. So before you preach a sermon with your mouth, people will see Jesus in your life. They'll see a light shining in the neighborhood. Now you can make a difference in your neighborhood. They'll see Jesus. They'll, somebody will say, I see Jesus in him. I want to be saved. I want what he had. I want to be saved. I don't want to kill myself no more. God will make the suicide spirit leave. Some of you have been having suicidal thoughts. But God will give you peaceful thoughts. You don't got to smoke no weed. God is all you need. How to be an effective minister. Stay in prayer. Fast and pray. Live holy every day. Have a sanctified and consecrated life. Don't go around trying to outdo another minister. This is not a popularity contest. This ain't about who the best preacher or who's about the most or who's the most anointed one. That's what stirs up jealousy. The Bible said in the book of Philippians, chapter 1, verse 15, that some indeed preach Christ out of envy and strife. You heard that what Paul said? And others of goodwill. That means everyone preaching the word, it does not mean they're preaching the word for the right reason. Even though they're preaching the right word, but their spirit is not right. Because they're preaching out of jealousy. They're preaching out of competition. You are trying to outdo another preacher. Now there's stairs of envy all in the church. Now the devil can see that it's envy in the church. Now he can divide and conquer. Because you're not menacing God's word out the right motive, for the right motive. You're doing it for yourself. That's You're the one that God's going to say, I never knew you. Depart from me. Even though you did wonderful works in his name. But you wasn't doing it for the right reason. You was doing it to glorify yourself. Simon the sorcerer, when he saw the miracles that was being worked through the apostles, in the book of Acts chapter number 8, he won that power too. But he won the power for the wrong reason. That's why Apostle Peter rebuked Simon the sorcerer and said, you're full of bitterness. I want the power of God so he can get the glory. So God can get the glory. I want to see God do miracles, not for me to get the glory, but for him to get the glory. And now you can say to God, be the glory for the things he have done. It's all about Jesus. We are just vessels. You got to stay humble or he'll bring you back down. Like he cast Lucifer out of heaven. That's how we be an effective minister. By developing the character of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus said, there's no servant that's greater than his Lord. We're going to say a prayer of faith for this block. We're going to pray for every person in these houses. We're going to pray for your families. We're praying for your children. Pray one for another. Love one another. Pray for each other. Bless each other. And God will bless you. God will send angels to protect you. God will send angels all in your house. He'll bless you and your children. Hallelujah. He'll fix your broken marriage. Jesus can heal your broken heart. There's a hope. You don't need no dope. God is a great hope. That's how much God loves you. It don't matter what color you are. He loves you. Now let's love each other. God bless you all today. I'm happy to see you all this morning. God going to bless you all today. Thank you. Hallelujah. God going to bless you all today. Thank you, Jesus. Walk with them, Jesus. Bless them, Jesus. You can save the people. You love these people, God. For God so loved the world. Now we can love each other and bless each other and pray for one for another. God bless this young lady. Lord bless her whole life, God. There's those who walked around the press. You can get somebody rest. For you are the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by him. For God so loved the world. He didn't say he loved sin. He didn't say he loved sin. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him, believing Jesus Christ, should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16, verse 17 said, For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus can give you eternal life. You don't have to go to hell. This sun is hot enough. Hell is a place for the wicked. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 14 talks about hell. It said hell has enlarged itself without measure. God don't want to see nobody go to hell. Folk in Hollywood are making pacts with the devil. John and Illuminati's for fame and fortune. But Jesus said what profits a man if he gained the whole world and lose his soul. Mark chapter 8 verse 36. When God can bless you himself. God can provide for you himself. When you put God first, he'll provide for you. He'll bless you. He'll work miracles for you. Hallelujah. This is how to be an effective minister. 
as I bring this thing to a close. Bless every person walking down the street. You can save them, if it with the power of the Holy Spirit, those who want to be saved. Touch the young people, the older people, and the middle-aged people. Somebody been depressed today. Give somebody a peace of mind. Somebody been suicidal, Jesus. Bind the demons of suicide right now in the name of Jesus. There's an attack on marriages, God. But we're going to get first married to Jesus. For you are the answer for America. For you are the answer for the world today. If my people, which are called by my name, huh, shall humble themselves and pray, huh, seek my face, turn, huh, turn from their wicked ways. Then God said, I will come and hear from heaven. I will forgive your sins. And God said, I will heal the land. That's how special you are to God. You're somebody special. So hold your head up high. God got a great plan for your life. He wants you to be encouraged, y'all. Jesus loves you. And may God's angels watch over you everywhere you go. May God bless you and your children. Put God first and he'll provide for you. He'll turn your broke into blessings. God will turn your decrease into increase. Just make sure when God bless you, say, Lord, I thank you. I give you the glory. Don't wait to Thanksgiving to give God thanks. We can love Jesus. I don't wait to Thanksgiving. David said, I will bless the Lord. Woo! Hallelujah. At all times. Whoa, and his praise shall continually be in our mouth. And watch God work miracles for you. Watch God bless you and your children and break generational curse. And he'll bring generational blessings. Some of y'all been buying my witchcraft. Jesus got more power than the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you, man of God. Happy to see you. Hallelujah. You were praising God up in the Jeep. He waving his hand in the cab car. This he anoints him that will destroy the yoke. Praise the Lord. It's not by might. It's not by power. But it's by my spirit, says the Lord. He's doing it right now. We're praying for you, Ruth Hillborn. All of you around the world, we're praying for you. It's done. Begin to praise God for it. How to be an effective minister. We all are called to be ministers. We all are called to be witnesses. According to Acts chapter number 1 verse 8, Jesus said after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power. He said, and you shall be my witnesses throughout the uttermost part of the earth. We all called to be ministers. There's different kind of ministers. Everyone ain't called to preach. There's ministries of help. You got different ministries. Missionary work, children's ministry. We all are called to be ministers to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world and to let your light shine. Live a holy life. Are we perfect? No. If you got a weakness, Give it to God. And say, Lord, I got a weakness. Give it to God. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you got a weakness, give it to God. And just be honest. Say, Lord, I need your help. I got a weakness. Forgive me for my sins. If you got a habit, Jesus can break that habit. He'll feed with the Holy Ghost. God will feed with the Holy Ghost. Now you have power. Power to live holy. Power to cast out devils. Power to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. You don't got to be a preacher of the gospel for God to use you in miracles. Jesus said these signs shall follow them that believe. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Don't got to take no jug over dust. Hallelujah. He said my name you shall cast out devils. Hallelujah. He said my name you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Honey, you can lay hands on yourself in the name of Jesus and God will heal you. He'll make cancer disappear out of your body. He'll make arthritis disappear out of your body. I believe God can work a miracle for you. Just have faith and believe in the miracle worker. With God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. God going to send a Holy Ghost revival right here in New Jersey. Praise the Lord. He's doing it right now. Just have faith and believe. In the name of Jesus. All around the world, not just here in New Jersey. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any, I hope you enjoyed this message. Anyone who desired to send to our cash app, thank for those who sent. God's going to turn your decrease and your decrease and the increase. The cash app is flame, flame of fire. Eight, number eight, under Pastor Warren Adams, W A R R E N A D A M S. Praise God for the Prince of Peace, and may God continue to save you and bless you as you repent from your sins. Let the Lord live within. He will forgive you for your sins.
if you're willing to repent, repent and be baptized every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, become a believer for the remissions of sins and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This is the promise that God had for you and your children. That thou shalt confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that he was crucified. Praise the Lord. And God is raised from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Romans chapter number 10, verse 9 and verse number 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That whosoever calleth on the name of the Lord shall be saved. God bless you. And bless every person walking down the street. Bless every family, God, in these houses. Let your angels, God, watch over the people. You are somebody special. There's greatness in you. I see greatness in you, brother. God bless you. Yeah, amen. amen. Have a good day today. Thank you, good brother. God going to bless that young man and his family. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. God bless you, man of God. God bless you, young man. I'm happy to see you. God bless him. God bless him. God is healing your body right now. Thank you, Jesus. God is going to save them if it with the power of the Holy Ghost. I'll see you again around the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Enjoy the weather. Thank you.